one valuable specimen in mid state 68 plus red was sold for $1,323 with buyers via at Great Collections auction. Here is circulated 1966 Washington Quarter from Coinas Collection. Although slightly worn and weakly struck, the contact marks are not that many on the surfaces of this quarter dollar. The 1966 Washington Quarter was very common, especially since over 800 million of them were struck. Examples in circulated grays can still be found in circulation. Even examples in about MS60 and 63 condition can also be found in circulation. In MS64, MS66 conditions, they are a little tougher to find, yet can be purchased inexpensively. In MS67 condition, it scores with less than 100 examples graded by PCGS. In MS67 plus condition, it's extremely scarce with less than a handful of examples known. MS68 specimens are extremely rare. This is the sole finest specimen at PCGS graded MS68 plus. Virtually flawless surfaces and boldly rendered devices complement the satiny clad luster of each side, while a wash of dusky rainbow toning produces unparalleled visual appeal. It was sold for $21,000. The 1995 D. Jefferson nickel was minted in Denver with an actual mintage of over 1 billion. It weighs 5 grams and has a diameter of 21.2 millimeters. The metal alloy consists of 75% copper and 25% nickel. In circulated condition, its value is typically face value or slightly above. In uncirculated condition without full steps, the value ranges from $1 to $5 while with the full steps, it can be worth between $10 to $30. For superb gem grades, values can reach up to $20 without full steps and up to $100 or more with full steps, as full steps designation is highly sought after by collectors for its clear and distinct strike on the steps of Monticello. One super valuable specimen was sold this January at Great Collections Auction. This MS67 specimen with full steps ended up selling for $1,321.88. The 1979D Washington Quarter was minted in Denver with an actual mintage of over 489 million. It weighs 5.67 grams and has a diameter of 24.3 millimeters. The coin is composed of an outer layer of 75% copper and 25% nickel, bonded to a core of pure copper, otherwise known as sandwich. In circulated condition, its value is typically face value or slightly above. In uncirculated conditions, the value ranges from $1 to $5. For superb gem grades, values can reach up to 50 or more. Based on the coin's overall eye appeal and quality, this rare and valuable specimen was graded mint state 68 by PCGS and it was sold for $5,464.12 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. A relatively old penny, 1963 Lincoln cent in circulated and fully brown condition. This coin also had some slight misalignment problems. During the minting process, upper lettering slightly extend towards the rim. On the back side of the coin, we witnessed several unpleasant tarnished stocks around the memorial. Overall eye appeal of this scent is not that good. According to PCGS a 1963P, Lincoln scent is very common in circulated condition all the way up to MS63. In MS66 conditions, they are now scarce with probably less than 1500 coins in existence in this grade or higher. In MS67 conditions, they are very difficult to come by and only few have been discovered in this grade. Probably no more than a dozen examples exist in MS67 condition and there are probably no MS68s 
or higher that exist. One valuable specimen in MS67 Plus was sold for a staggering $4,730.62 at Great Collections Auction. The 2015 Lincoln Sand features a Union Shield reverse and was minted in large quantities. The coin weighs 2.5 grams and has a diameter of 19.05 mm. In about a circulated condition like this, its value is typically face value or slightly higher. In mean state grades, MS65 examples are valued around 30 cents, while MS66 can fetch about $1. Higher grades like MS67 can be worth around $20 and MS68 can reach up to $100 or more, reflecting the coin's condition and sharpness of its strike. But sometimes there are quite astonishing exceptions. For example, this MS68 Superb Gem was sold for $9,954 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thank you for joining me on this journey through, the, through some fascinating circulated US coins. Each coin tells a unique story and carries a piece of history that makes our hobby so rewarding. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow coin enthusiasts. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to CoinAz and hit notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest coin sales and numismatic insights. Your Until next time, God's willing, see you in the next episode.